you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Those of you who watch my other channel will know that this is my holiday beverage for this year, my holiday dram, what I sometimes call my Christmas dram. Um, friendlies, how's that? How's your holiday uh, season treating you so far? We are the 23rd of December. And I got something here. I know exactly what's in here. Or at least if what's in here is not what I think is in here, then there's no order in the universe. Some of you may remember the live stream where I broke <laughs> the globe on this. Um, so I immediately went on a tour of the internets uh, to find a replacement globe. Um, and I originally bought this because the one that was in there was red. Uh, it, and this is completely wrong. Why did I buy a completely wrong shape of globe? Well, it's because I didn't have this with me when I ordered it. I was ordering on my phone and I was out somewhere. And it was like, well, this is very tall, so it must be a tall globe. Which was a mistake. Suffice it to say, I now know why this is called the baby special. Because that's the normal size of these. And the globe is the same shape as this. So, that was an expensive mistake because this baby here was like 70 bucks. So I kept looking and looking. Now, if this isn't what I think it is, this entire video so far is wasted. Safety first, which is also why I'm not touching the, uh, the beverage just yet. Yeah, oh, man, if I blew the size again or something, I'm going to be so irritated. Oh yeah, there we go. The Antique Lantern. TheAntiqueLantern.com Now, but Jesse, the one that was there was red. This one's not red. I know, and there's a reason behind that. It's because the one that was in there was not original to this lantern. Uh, it was a different brand. I don't remember the name of which right now. Uh, this little made in Canada globe is a vintage globe that does match with this uh, beacon lantern. These are both the same company. Uh, this globe is from like 1925, so I'm gonna be careful as heck putting it in, okay? And as I said, if this is like if this is not the right size, I'm going to be highly, highly irate. So I'll turn this sideways. Get this out of, get this out of the way. Get this up and out of the way. This is so tough to do. Hold on. Let's just gingerly. <laughs> it's so tough. <laughs> With only one hand. Okay. Pull that up and out of the way. Put this baby in there and hope that it's the right size. Put this baby down and win. Okay, so now it has a period correct, same brand, globe. I did kind of like the red globe though. I may at some point get a red globe and, you know, use it for instances where I do not want to ruin my night vision. You know what? For the sake of the video, let's turn this so that Made in Canada is right up at the front, shall we? Looky that. Looky that. So, uh, next thing to do um, is to get a wick for this. And I don't know if I should like try to do a restoration on this or just leave it the way it is. Like, I don't know how to do a restoration on a lantern. So, I've already broken a globe, right? Do I really want to <laughs> do anything else? 
What I think my next uh, step will be, though, is to definitely uh, get a wick and make sure that there are no leaks or anything. And then I will have two beautiful hurricane lanterns. Anyways, I'm happy that this saga is over. I'm happy to have uh, sourced vintage glass to go in it rather than some modern replacement. And I just think it looks absolutely wonderful. I'm gonna wash that glass though, that needs washing. Yeah. So there it is. Um, I shall not take a sip of my Christmas whiskey. Guess I've got so much to celebrate. I brought the lantern back from the edge. Back from the edge. Yeah, so figure out what size of wick that is. Get some, fill this baby up with a little kerosene action. Let it wick up, light it, and just enjoy the magic of the living flames. So that is all she wrote. Um, happy holidays, blah, blah, blah. If you like what I'm doing here, please do the following three things. One, comment down below. Do you do this? Do you have these lanterns? Or are you more of an LED or uh, like a, what's that one called? In French, we call it a fanal. It's got the little bag wick in it and it makes this sound when it's lit. You know, the Coleman, whatever. Uh, let me know if you're more into that than this uh, or if you do lanterns at all. Uh, aside from that, Second thing, share this video. That helps me more than you could possibly imagine. And third, leave me a smiley thumb. If you don't like what I'm doing, that's okay. Leave me a friendly thumb. Thanks for watching, guys. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We